Yeah, so I got a ballast for my low pressure sodium lamp today. Uh, it's a workhorse, workhorse 5 solid state instant start ballast. Uh, it's the 230 volt version. Um, these are pretty rare in Australia so you have to watch out that you don't get the 110 or 277 volt versions. Um, yeah, mains input. Make sure it's grounded. And then you've got uh, four main output leads and one yellow common lead. Sometimes these are red as well, but yeah, these aren't actually connected to anything since we only need one. Uh, this ballast is designed to run multiple lamps, so yeah. And this is sort of a fixture I made up for it yesterday. Uh, just some nine millimeter MDF. You know, I've sort of, I haven't got any wood screws the right size, so I have to get some of those, but for now I've just sort of tacked it together with hot glue. Um, it has a double reflector, which apparently works the best with these lamps. I'm sure if you can. Yeah, there's a ridge in the middle of it that sort of helps, th throws the light outwards instead of shooting it back into the bulb. Uh, got a bulb support up here. Put, takes a bit of a load off the lamp base which isn't screwed in yet either because I don't have the wood screws um, but yeah got the lamp on eBay for about 30 bucks see so, yeah, I'll turn off the lights and we'll see how this goes all right lights are off let's power it up It's a bit, looks a bit more orange on the camera than it is in real life, but see the lobs of sodium in there. Yeah, it's not very bright at the moment, sort of. These things take about 10 minutes or so to warm up. I had it running just before, so it's already slightly, slightly warm still, but not sure if you can see it there but there's actually a you can see the pink plasma channel in the middle where the neon gas is but around the outside of the tube there's sort of like an orange glow from the sodium vapor it looks pretty cool this warm up for a bit and then show you what the output's like at full so it's been pretty close to 10 minutes or so now uh, the lamp's probably really close to full brightness if not already full brightness and you can see it's well and truly lighting up the room and even daylight outside the camera sort of makes this look a bit more washed out than it actually is. It's really sort of a gold, very goldish colour. Looks quite cool. The reflector seems to be working quite well. I can't actually look at this with my eyes, it's just too bright. So I'm sort of looking through the camera. Probably see it flickering as well. There's a base bit that goes down the bottom as well that's got reflective, well it's got uh, some aluminium sheet on it as well. But yeah, this thing is insanely bright. Probably why they decided to use it as a street light. <laughs> yeah. Cool thing about these lamps is if you turn them off, camera readjusting. You turn them off. You can turn them back on again and they go straight back to full brightness. So they have a layer of a coating of indium tin or something around the outside of the outer glass which helps reflect some IR light back to the tube and keeps it warm. Because these things really don't get that hot. Like I can put my hand here and it's fine. 
and that's about five centimeters you know, maybe even two centimeters from the bowl you can barely feel any heat they're just so efficient and also because it's at the peak sensitivity of our eyes we're very close to it um, they output about 589 nanometers and our eyes peak sensitivity is about 555 so yeah, lots of the energy is converted to light. This is still one of the most efficient light sources there is at the moment, even over LEDs. LEDs are catching up though. There are a select few that actually do beat these, but not many. But yeah. Sort of reflector works from about there upwards. So it's a pretty wide throw. Um, I have to take it outside out the back tonight and see how well it lights up the backyard because it does a really good job in here. <laughs> you can't really use these as a work light. They're too, like every, you can't see color properly. Like if you look at this here, that's got red, white, and blue on it, but it just looks like all gray pretty much. So it's not really a, good light to work under so yeah well, I'll do another video tonight and outside probably if I can get some screws to put in that fixture because <laughs> you can't run these bulbs, bulbs vertically sitting on the base you have to run them horizontally or upside down otherwise the sodium goes down into the um, into the filaments and sort of blocks off the filament and then it can't can't start properly and it won't vaporize all the sodium properly so sort of need that box to run it in sideways or just laying on the bench anything works yeah I'll do another video tonight